for one more big stretch and a roll up. We're just gonna go into a nice glute bridge hold so you'll plant your feet flat on the ground, squeezing your glutes, driving your hips up high, taking some nice deep breaths. Just squeezing your glutes, really just starting to bring some energy and warmth into your legs and your butt, keeping your feet flat on the ground, taking some nice breaths. We're going to hang out here for 30 more seconds, and if your butt's cramping or something, you can totally like let it go, but then just come back up when you're ready, and we'll hang out this glute bridge. Nice big deep breaths. And then we'll bring your back down, nice one little vertebrae at a time. Bringing your hips all the way back down to the ground, nice and slow. And then we'll send your legs back straight again. And we'll just do a couple more of our roll ups. So big stretch. And then roll it up to your toes. There, getting that stretch at the top. And really try to think about rolling one little vertebrae at a time by staying really tight through your midline, pulling your belly button to your spine. And I'll roll on up for 30 more seconds of these. more seconds. All right, three, two, one, and this time we're gonna go back to our glute bridge again. But this time we're just, we're not gonna hold, but we'll just do some reps of a nice big glute bridge, getting your glutes up high. I'm sorry, squeezing your glutes to get your hips up high. And then lowering one little vertebrae at a time back down to the ground. Yeah. And then squeezing back up again. And just nice and steady, trying to stay in control of your spine. Yeah. Just up and down, keeping your feet flat on the ground, squeezing those glutes to bring your hips up, and then keeping your midline nice and tight as you bring your back, back down to the ground. And we'll do these for 20 more seconds. roll-ups, but this time as you roll up, we're going to twist to one side and just like really reach behind you a little bit and then come back down. And so we'll add a little twist to this roll-up minute. And if you're starting to feel a little warm, you know, you can move through these a little bit faster if you like. But again, just trying to keep control of that spine as you bring it down to the ground. And finishing with a twist at the top. And we'll do 30 more seconds, please. time. This time we're going to keep our hips up high and we're going to hold the glute bridge, but we're going to pick one leg up, extend that and bring it back down and then lift that other leg, extend, bring it back and we'll just march those feet. Trying to keep your hips up and stable and steady the whole time. seconds. Just alternating steps. Hips staying high. Ten more seconds. Three, 
two, one. All right, and now we're just gonna roll on over to your side and we're gonna hold a side plank. And so you can have your knee down or you can be propped up on your feet, whatever feels good. But we're just gonna hang out in a side plank. <laughs> Again, keep being focused on your breath, on your midline, stay nice and tight. Hips and shoulders staying nice and in line, pressing the ground away. And we're going to stay in on this one side, and we're going to come back to the other side in a little bit. So remember what side you did, because <laughs> we're not going to switch yet. So I did my left side, so I got to do right side later. Ten more seconds here, staying nice and tight. Couple more deep breaths. Three, two, one. And now we're gonna come back down onto your back and we're gonna do 30 seconds of leg lifts. And so I like to put my hands under my butt, give a little bit more support to my back. And just keeping your feet together, pulling them up the size you like, and keeping control as you drop them back down. 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go into VFs. Three, two, one. So kind of like the end of that um, roll up stretch and then pull your hands up to touch your feet. And try to keep your legs together as you do these. And we're going to go back to our leg lifts in 10 seconds. One more round of leg lifts plus VFs. One more round of V-ups in three, two, one. After these V-ups, we gotta do our other side plank. So hopefully you still remember. or 30 more seconds, sorry, that was rude. 30 more seconds is what I meant to say. That was mean. <laughs> Doing great, keep it up.
Okay, hopefully you're a little bit warmer. Okay, so next we're gonna play around with some of uh, the single leg stuff. And so the first thing we're gonna do um, is just one leg squatting, which we did maybe like a month ago now, for a few weeks in a row we had like, we were on the box and we just lowered one leg off the box and lowered down on top of the box. And we like came all the way down and then like stood back up. Um, and so you can keep doing those if you like. And I think we waited, we practiced waiting them also. And if you want, you can keep going down that train. Um, or if you want, you can try to start like coming back out of the bottom. And so just challenging yourself, to see how low you can get and then still come back up without setting your bottom leg down. So, and then if you want to get lower, you know you need to push that foot a little bit forward maybe, and then try to stand up, keeping that heel down on the standing leg. <laughs> and then if, uh, if you're feeling really good with that and you want to try lowering your box, because that'll give you like less room for your leg to work with, and you can practice starting to like send it out in front of you as you lower down and then coming back up. And so if you want, you can even play around with like moving all the way to the floor and trying those one leg squats. Um, so it's kind of up to you about where you're at with what you want to try and where you're ready to move with these. And if you're going to weight these, just hold the weight at your chest. And you can also, like, maybe you're ready to weight them and try to come out of the bottom without setting your foot down and standing back up. You can try that too. So you can kind of decide where you're at with those. And if you're not sure what to pick, you know, you can yell at me and, and try to, we can come up together with what you might want to pick. If balance is an issue, then you could try to find something nearby, like a wall or a post, and kind of like give yourself a little bit of a stability help. That's totally okay too. <laughs> and yeah, we'll try to do like six to eight per side, depending on how hard it is, of which option you're going to try. And I think I'm going to do mine on the box, but wait a minute. around with no weight and like add weight later maybe when you're feeling a little bit more warm and ready for the movement that's totally fine too you can increase the intensity as you go through these and try something different each set if you want also are you, trying to, are you, are you touching at the bottom no And the next movement we're going to play around with is going to be a Cossack squat. Actually, everyone go ahead and keep working. Looks like you're still doing this. This is great. Keep doing it. And so um, as we were working on this step, just kind of like our goals here are like stability and balance on one on each leg <laughs> and then like increasing range of motion with 
the stability and balance, right? Like we want, we don't want the range of motion without the other. So making sure you can control that stability and balance through your range of motion and then building strength through that range of motion is kind of like what we're trying to do with um, the single leg work. And so that's kind of, it can kind of help to have that information when you're trying to decide which options you want to work on today. And yeah, and like specifically I think of like, you know, a lot of those like athletic movements that we need to do, like running, jumping, catching, that kind of stuff. But I also think about like throwing and like having control through the range of motion with like your hips and stuff. Like, I don't know, I think that it kind of translates that way. Okay, so now we're gonna do some caustic squats. And so again, like balance, stability, that kind of stuff, and then range of motion. And so today, again, like maybe no weight on the first round. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way to, so you're gonna bend one leg, sending your hips back, keeping this other leg straight, rotating your heel up, and you're gonna sit all the way onto the ground. And you're gonna try to do that like as slowly as possible. And then, first of all, some people can like get up from here. So if you can, go ahead. But if not, just like use your hands and get back up. And do the same thing like six per side. And just try to go super duper slow all the way down and sitting down as slowly as possible. And then just kind of getting yourself back up. And then um, same thing with this one, like we can actually like add a little weight to your chest as you lower it all the way down. But then you have to like, you know, set the weight down and get yourself back up again. And so if you want to try doing these weighted maybe the next round, you can. And I'm doing these to the left. And so I really want to keep my left foot all the way on the ground as long as possible, like including all the way to that moment when I'm sitting down. I really want my heel and my, the ball of my foot on the ground. And then we'll do them to the other side. I've been following this person who does these classic squats, like sitting all the way down and then standing all the way back up. I think I sent the video to Slim. I was like, this is my new goal. Slim's always sending me like workout goals of people doing all, all kinds of really hard movements. two inches or like a foot? Oh, like probably like three or four inches. Okay, that's fine. And if you want, you could even like, if you have like a little pillow or something, you could put it down so you're not going quite as far down. Might uh -huh. let you feel like you're getting a little bit more control into like a false bottom on a pillow or on a something like that. Okay. But it's okay to be falling a couple inches, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, okay, and then the next one, single leg in one plane and then the other plane and now we're going to do two jumping things one one leg and one just with two legs and so our one leg jump we're going to do a broad box and so on one foot and so you're going to try to like broad jump into getting distance and so you're going to try to jump as far as you can forward staying in control you know getting your balance again and then go to the right and then try to make it back to where you came from backwards <laughs> probably not going to get as far but you're going backwards and then back to the left and then you'll repeat each direction on each foot. And again, stability, balance, control, all that stuff. And then go for distance, right? Make sure you're staying as balanced as possible. As you do your whoop, one leg broad box. I can never decide if I want to do these on my mat or not. <laughs> Slides. Thank 
average jump is kind of fun. you've done each way each leg we're gonna do ten box jumps and your idea here is try to get as high as you can and so you know as high as your box is whatever pretend like it's even higher <laughs> so really pull your knees up to your chest and try to land softly and balanced <laughs> and really like driving off both feet getting as high as you can landing with control for 10 reps. And then we'll go back to the top, which was that one leg squatting on your box, or maybe not, or maybe switching it up. And we have like 10 more minutes to play around with these movements. The one leg squat, the Cossack squat, the broad box, and then the box jumps. And like six ish per side on these, you can decide what feels right. guys all the way to the floor. Again, you maybe want to play around with adding a little tiny bit of weight you can. <laughs> and again, just sit all the way down and then get up however you can. So don't even worry about trying to get up, but just staying in control on the way down, sending your hips back, bending that one leg. Keeping the other one nice and straight.
and then your jumps. Okay, we'll actually take another like five minutes because I want us to get three rounds in.
Okay, just like two more minutes to finish up. Have a sip of your water. Nice work. All of that stuff. So hard. Good job. Last thing we're gonna do today is gonna take 10 minutes and you're gonna need your weight and no box. And so you can use one weight or two, it's up to you. Maybe I'll use my two little baby guys today. Um, and it's gonna start with a clean. And so, um, Starting with the weights as low as you feel. So you can start with them on the ground or just in the hang. It's really up to you. It doesn't matter too much. But you're gonna start with a clean. And so we'll clean those weights up to your front rack. And then we're gonna do a squat. And then we're gonna lunge, alternating right, left. And then after you're done with your dumbbells, we're gonna do 10 V-ups, but we're gonna do them side to side. So a little different than earlier. So like my right leg is gonna, or my right hand is gonna touch my left leg left hand to right leg, so we'll kind of alternate on our V-ups. So a little bit like dead bugs, kind of, but, um, and you do 10 of those. Five per side, 10 total alternating V-ups. And then you're gonna go back to your weights, and for the second round, you're gonna do two of everything. And so now it'll be two cleans. And again, if you just wanna to go to the hang, that's fine. If your back starts feeling really tight, you can just go hang cleans. And then two squats. And then we're gonna alternate the lunges still. So it'd be like two sets of lunges. So four total lunges on the second round, alternating right, left, right, left. Third round would be three of each. Fourth, but you're still doing 10 VFs. So it's always 10 VFs. Don't increase the VFs. Just always 10 VFs and then get back to the dumbbells or whatever your weight is for today. And we'll do 10 minutes just getting as far as you can. No box. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you said box. Sorry, yeah, no box, no box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool, okay, we'll get right into it before the genie kicks us out. So we'll start in 10 seconds. And just one clean, one squat, one lunge per side to start. Three, two, one, go! So one clean, one squat, and then one lunge per side. Hit 10 V ups. Alternating V ups. Hit. 
And then when you get into round number two, it'll be two cleans. Two squats. Lunge right, lunge left two times. And then back to 10 alternating DFs. three squats and then three sets of right left lunges two minutes in. Five minutes left.
left. Two more minutes. Thirty more seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one.